Welcome to the channel of Engineering Chemistry Lab Videos. Myself, Dr. Kiran Kumar P, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, ATME College of Engineering, Mysore. Today's experiment is the determination of percentage of copper in brass sample using standard sodium thiosulfate solution. The experiment is also called as iodometric titration which is carried which is carried by titrating the liberated iodine gas so the aim of the experiment is to determine the percentage of percentage of copper in brass sample so it is used to determine percentage of copper in brass sample so brass is an uh, alloy of uh, copper and zinc it mainly consists of copper and zinc in main proportions which has a very good uh, uh, properties such as chemical properties electrical and also shows a very good chemical properties so these are the uh, uh, brass sample that looks like this so here are the composition of brass copper it has a highest composition about uh, up to 60 percentage zinc is about 40 percentage oxygen lead tin and iron so the main composition of uh, uh, brass alloy is copper an alloy is a uh, substance which is made up of uh, two or metals or non metals so here in this case uh, it has been made with two or more metals so the major composition as i said uh, earlier is about copper so copper uh, copper contributes uh, maximum concentration composition uh, zinc comes next and other uh, trace amount of tin lead etc so the, the brass sample uh, the principle behind the titration of uh, is the, the brass sample is dissolved using uh, a nitric acid to form a brass solution which contains copper in it so this copper is uh, allowed to react with the iodine potassium iodide which liberates iodine gas so thereby by measuring the iodine gas liberated we measure the amount of copper present in a brass sample let us see some applications of brass brass are used in locks gears bearings valves braces brackets base plates etc so before going to the principle let us see the procedure part okay so here in uh, uh, determination of brass we use in burette we take a standard solution of hypo hypo means sodium thiosulfate sodium thiosulfate na2s2o3 and in conical flask we prepare a brass solution from the sample and that is prepared out <clears throat> to this brass sample ammonium hydroxide is added drop wise till it becomes bluish white precipitate then tensium cube of acetic acid is added followed by potassium iodide and diluted with water the solution is titrated against sodium thiosulfate till it reaches end point when it reaches end point we need to add starch indicator not initially then titrate it against sodium thiosulfate till there is a complete disappearance of blue color the solution is prepared by weighing a known weight of copper i mean the brass 1 is to 1 hno3 is added on heating on dissolving the copper 
it forms copper nitrate so during the reaction there is a evolution of brown fumes due to the expel of oxides of nitrogen which is toxic in order to avoid the oxides of nitrogen we add about 1 gram of urea which destroys oxides of nitrogen thus the solution is make up up to the mark for 100 ml volumetric flask and concentration is calculated now you have got this your sample which is in a form of copper nitrate to this copper nitrate here ammonium hydroxide is added drop wise for 25 ml of brass sample right the reason of adding uh, potassium uh, ammonium hydroxide is to neutralize the mineral acid during the preparation a mineral acid is added so we need to neutralize the mineral acid in order to do that ammonium hydroxide is added be careful we need to add drop wise till it becomes bluish white precipitate followed by uh, acidic acid so in order to occur this reaction we need to maintain acidic medium hence mild organic acid is used acidic acid now potassium iodide is added here once potassium iodide is added it reacts with iodine reacts with copper to form cuprous iodide which is a precipitate and iodine gas is liberated and the color of this iodine gas is brown color as soon as you add the potassium iodide potassium iodide the solution becomes brown color this is the reason iodine gas is liberated so this iodine gas liberated here is titrated against sodium thiosulfate taken in a burette where the iodine liberated is exactly equal to the copper present right so they are identical hence by measuring iodine gas iodine gas liberated we measure sodium thiosulfate which in term the copper amount of copper present in a brass sample so end point is uh, determined by using a freshly prepared starch indicator where the starch is added near to the end point so this will be dark brown color starch is added near to the end point it means it becomes pale yellow color so pale yellow uh, indicates the iodine concentration is less so here iodine concentration will be more when iodine concentration is less you need to add starch indicator when you add starch indicator the solution becomes deep blue color again titrate the solution till it becomes colorless so no change in color here we have uh, see the experimental demonstration now these are the instruments required burette standard flask measuring jar funnel wash bottle beaker and a conical flask the chemicals required are nitric acid hypo solution acidic acid potassium iodide so freshly prepared starch indicator and urea weigh a known weight of brass sample note that weight into a beaker add 1 is to 1 nitric acid to prepare brass solution so this is what part a is part a is the preparation of brass solution so in order to prepare brass solution weigh a known weight of brass sample as i uh, showed add 1 is to 1 nitric acid now keep the mixture to heat so brass sample is boiled you can see here the brass sample here is dissolving to form copper nitrate so copper nitrate color is blue color wait until the brass sample completely dissolves within a moment 
due to formation of uh, oxides of nitrogen a brown fumes is evolved which is toxic so we need to destroy that oxides of nitrogen in order to do that a 1 gram of urea is added which destroys oxides of nitrogen now make sure it is completely dissolved dilute the solution with water using a glass rod you should be very careful because it is highly concentrated you should not waste a, even a single drop of your brass sam sample neatly transfer all the brass sample present in a beaker into the standard flask 100 ml flask with multiple washing wash multiple times to make sure there is no loss of concentration add water up to the neck remaining water is added through burette drop wise up to the mark here we have the complete uh, uh, makeup once it is makeup make sure to dissolve completely by inverting the flask this is another important step because there will be higher concentration at the bottom of the flask whereas you added water hence concentration will be less above the uh, flask fill the burette with hypo solution pip it out 25 cm cube of brass sample transfer it into the conical flask now add ammonium hydroxide the reason is to neutralize mineral acid present in the brass sample hno3 will be neutralized by adding ammonium hydroxide so you should add drop wise till it becomes bluish white precipitate you can see here bluish white precipitate is uh, coming should be very careful should not add excess of ammonium hydroxide now you got bluish white precipitate it shows the complete uh, neutralization of mineral acid now to undergo reaction you need to maintain acidic medium weak acid is added acidic acid is added 10 to 15 cm cube of acidic acid is added once acidic acid is added add potassium iodide solution 10% potassium iodide is used you can see when you add potassium iodide the solution becomes brown color this indicates the reaction between the potassium iodide so there will be the reaction between the iodine and the copper present in the brass sample which liberates iodine gas the equivalent portion of copper reacts with equivalent portion of iodine which liberates equivalent portion of iodine gas so we measure the liberated iodine gas which is equivalent to copper dilute the solution up to 15 to 20 ml of water is added now you should add you should you should not add the indicator at this stage you should titrate the solution till the iodine gas concentration is decreased so uh, the indication of decrease in iodine concentration is that uh, the here dark brown fumes uh, uh, brown color is there 
when iodine gas is less it will be pale yellow color when you get pale yellow color you should add indicate till then you should titrate against hypo solution if you add initially a starch indicator it forms iodine starch complex which is a stable complex you cannot uh, uh, break that bond it means that the deep blue color remains towards the reaction so now you got pale yellow color can see pale yellow color at this instant iodine gas uh, uh, starch indicator is added can see the reaction between starch and the iodine deep blue color is formed again titrate the solution against hypo solution till blue color is disappeared so here you should be very careful when it turns uh, when the deep blue color disappears you should wait for about 3 minutes for confirmation because the blue color may reappear so blue color disappeared you should wait for another 3 to 4 minutes for confirmation once there is no change in color you can note down the end point so repeat the trial for concordant readings three trials are compulsory now let us move on to the calculation part so weight of brass sample w is noted brass sample the weight of brass sample taken titration is done as per the demonstration shown if it is zero let us say 10 ml was consumed 10 will be the volume of hypo solution consumed similarly three readings are compulsory and note down the concordant value here is the calculation part normality of hypo solution taken in a burette is given to you note down that value 1000 cm cube of one normal sodium uh, sodium thiosulfate solution i mean the hypo solution is equal to 63.54 g of copper therefore v volume v volume of z normal of z normal hypo v into z into 63.54 divided by 1000 that gives a gram of copper per 25 cm cube it should be converted into percentage since you are calculating percentage before that the amount of copper present in 100 cm cube is a into this is for 25 cm cube a into 100 by 25 that gives b convert the value of b to percentage that gives b into 100 cm cube copper into 100 by weight weight of copper take that gives percentage of copper present in given brass solution thank you